Okay, today I'm going to review Human Compatible, Artificial Intelligence and the Problem of Control by Stuart Russell. So this is a pretty recent book on AI. I think it came out in late 2019 or a few months ago. Uh, and the author, Stuart Russell, he is a really prominent AI researcher. He wrote the textbook that's used around the world. I think it's the most popular textbook for teaching students about developing AI. Uh, the thing the book's called Artificial Intelligence, A Modern Approach, or something, something similar to that. But Stuart Russell and some other guy wrote like the defining textbook for AI. And he's made a lot of other contributions to AI. But uh, I mean, I think you can tell he's a pretty prominent guy, a really distinguished figure to kind of tackle this subject and, and write a book about AI safety. So a lot of people were really excited when they saw this book come out. I was one of them. You know, I already knew the author's name and I knew his background before I ever saw the book on Amazon. So it was a real surprise to see uh, that kind of name associated with one of these books. So I, I bought it and I was really excited to start reading it. And I think I was a little disappointed overall with the book. It's not that the book is bad, but I think the author's prominence in the field really gets people to expect a lot or it made me expect a lot from him. So the first hundred, so the book's not that long, first of all. It's like 250 pages of like the actual book, and then there's a few appendices at the end. And the first hundred pages of the book, he's just introducing the topic. And honestly, this part of the book kind of bored me. I've read so much about AI that just introducing the subject doesn't really cover anything new almost ever, so... I read it and it was it was well written and I think it's good but I think if you've read a lot of AI stuff that that introduce that first hundred pages will kind of be redundant um, and then after that he gets into introducing problems with AI and this is probably maybe like sixty pages of the book and he covers like current problems with AI a lot of the like racial stereotyping the ways that biases get baked into machine learning algorithms you know things of that nature. Uh, very similar to the stuff covered in Weapons of Math Destruction, a book that's all about how algorithms like uh, are biased. And then after that, he gets into the AI debate, and he introduces the, the debate and both sides of the debate. And in this part of the book, I thought the quality started to go down. For me, it really felt like he was strawmanning a lot of the opposing arguments to his view. And in, in his view, he uh, takes... AI safety pretty seriously and he thinks that there are a lot of big risks and he kind of straw mans a lot of the arguments of people who don't think it'll be that big of a risk. So the way I think he straw mans these arguments is he seems to imply that they think that AI just doesn't have any risks inherently to it which is not really the point of view you get if you read uh, the opinions of people who don't believe AI will pose as big a risk as a lot of people make it out to believe too. And the reason why a lot of people don't think it's that big of a risk is that they assume that AI developers will solve a lot of these problems in the future. Since we don't know how an AI will technically be built, because if we knew how it was built, we would just build one. Uh, so we don't really know how the AI system will work at a technical level. So we really don't have a good perspective to start critiquing how AI will be implemented in the future when we actually can build a real artificial general intelligence. So a lot of what the AI safety people think, or a lot of the people that are pushing for more AI safety, like Elon Musk, Stuart Russell, uh, people like that, a lot of them are assuming that these AI developers will just fail to take safety into account. Uh, because that seems to be the only way you can kind of arrive at the conclusions they arrive at. Because if you assume that there are risks, but then, you know, we'll develop solutions to the risks, then the whole idea of AI safety really isn't as big an issue as people make it out to be. It's like uh, you couldn't have cars without good brakes and a good steering system. But nobody ever, you know, spoke up and said we should stop developing automobiles because well, we don't know how to stop them and we don't know how to make them steer good. Uh, those are just part of developing the actual product or the actual uh, machine. 
And I think a lot of people assume that these these safety features, like making sure that AIs have uh, the right goals and that they uh, can really interpret our uh, wants and desires accurately, a lot of these issues could be solved pretty well in the future. And it seems like a lot of the people that are making a stink today assume that these problems won't be solved. And that brings me to the last section of this book. And in the last section of the book, what the author does is he introduces his solution to one of these problems, which is the, uh, he calls it the King Midas problem, which is how do we make sure that AI, that we can communicate our goals to an AI effectively. And of course, King Midas was uh, in the Bible. It's like the guy who says he wanted everything he touched to turn to gold, but that included like food and his kids and his wife and things like that. Uh, so is a is a big snafu for him. Uh, but Stuart Russell and really everyone today, none of us have any idea how future developers will solve that problem. We don't know what solutions they'll have invented yet. So if when someone comes along and says, I have this new solution to this problem, what they're really doing is saying, hey, I have a solution that's a little bit better than what we have now, but we but they have no idea how that will compare to the final solution that the actual AI developers will have or what they'll use. So a lot of the, this book at the end came off to me like the author was assuming that AI was going on some path that was going to lead to destruction. And then he's swooping in with his new idea and saving the day. And for me, that really felt disingenuous because nobody knows what problems are serious yet. And nobody knows what solutions will be good and what solutions will be bad. So we, until we have an actual AI to test, we won't know how well we did on any one of all the various factors that will go into making an AI. And the off, and I didn't think that Stuart Russell had a good perspective on that reality. It really seemed like he was very confident in what the future AI will end up looking like. And that's why he's able to critique it today. And, I mean, that whole approach, it just kind of rubbed me a little bit the wrong way. Uh, I don't know if everyone will get that feeling from the book, but maybe I just have read too much on the topic, so uh, I, I was bothered by little... Maybe I'm nitpicking is what I'm getting at. But overall, I, I expected a lot from this book, and I wasn't as happy with the book as I wanted to be. I do think, though, that if you're going to pick up a book on AI safety today and you haven't read much... This will be a really good book to pick up. I think a lot of the things I dislike in the book are really just due to the fact that this is like the fourth book I've read on AI safety alone. And then I've read a lot of other aspects of AI stuff. So at this point, I mean, I just didn't feel like he wrote that much that was new. It's only his technical solution that's new. And really, it kind of came off as common sense to me. And just briefly, if you're interested, his technical solution is just making AIs uncertain about our goals so that they always have to seek information from us that would imply what our goals will be. And so that way AIs will always be hesitant to take drastic action and they'll always just be like asking us questions and trying to please us more. Um, and maybe at a technical level that's new and interesting, but at a like common sense level that's not interesting at all. That's like I said, just basic common sense. Nobody knows what other people's motivations are, so we're constantly doing that as humans. So to suggest that we should do that in an AI system, to me, just didn't feel that revolutionary, that new. And then to stack that idea on top of all these critiques of uh, what future AI developers will fail at seems to be, it, just, it felt off to me. Uh, but maybe I'll give it another read in the future. Maybe I'll have a different opinion. But that was my takeaway from this book. I would still recommend it for a lot of people because he's a really great author. And he writes a lot of good stuff about AI in this book. But I felt like the overall thesis of the book wasn't that well done from my point of view. But I think, yeah, if you're looking for a book to introduce the topic of AI safety, this is a pretty, pretty good book uh, to read in that regard. So I hope you guys like this review. Uh, I've got more reviews coming soon, so stick around, like, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.